I'm making a creamy noodle bacon. I've got a pound each of sausage and beef searing in the frying pan and my egg noodles boiling. Once that meat's seared on both sides with the mix and chop spatula, I just break up that meat, add it in my seasonings and my sauce. So now we're gonna make the sauce for our noodles. I've got some sour cream in the measure all cup, three onion rub, garlic rub, salt and pepper, and cottage cheese in the twist and chop. Look at all of that flavor. So I'll put the lid on the twist and chop and turn it on. I'll turn it sideways so you can see that blade go up and down. It's a texture thing for me, so I like my cottage cheese creamy. That's optional. You don't have to do it, but look how creamy it is. Pop in that sour cream in your drained but still warm noodles. The twist and chop has a pour spout, so I'm just going to pour it right from there and gently fold that sauce in to coat those noodles. It will look just like this, and it is delicious. I could eat this right from the bowl all by itself, but let's put this meal together. I've shredded some cheddar and Colby Jack cheese, and I'm actually making two, one to cook tonight and one for a freezer meal. I've got my ladle in my sauce, so let's put this together. A layer of the noodles goes on the bottom, and then you'll top those noodles with a layer of the sauce, and then we'll add our cheese. Cheddar cheese and our Colby Jack cheese, and then we're gonna repeat those layers. So you're gonna go with noodles, and then sauce again, and cheese, so we've got a double layer of goodness here y'all i love that these pans have a lid so we can pop that lid on and store it in the fridge till we're ready to bake or even put it in the freezer but i'm going to cook this one tonight so let's build the freezer meal same process you're going to put your noodles and your sauce cheese again noodles and i'll use the rest of this sauce and then top it with some cheese and just like that i have got a freezer meal ready Here's a closer look at the mix and chop spatula. It's got those draining holes and you can pour from it as well. And the silicone ladle has draining holes and a pour spout. One freezer meal ready with the instructions written on the lid and one ready to cook 350 degrees for 20 minutes. It is done and my house smells pretty amazing, y'all. <laughs> I cooked some cheesy bread to go with ours tonight. So I've let it cool a little bit, so let's get some out so you can see what it looks like. It's so easy to make, and it's one of my husband's favorites. It's delicious. Look how clean that pan comes out. So we are ready to eat, and one ready for the freezer. Might as well make a freezer meal while we have everything out. It's yummy, and the recipe will be in the comments.